The clip we're going to take a look at in today's video dramatically demonstrates why EV fires are so dangerous and difficult to deal with, and how an EV fire can quickly spread to neighbouring property within a matter of minutes. Just to recap, an EV battery consists of a large number of individual lithium ion cells, all packed tightly under the floor of the passenger compartment and connected together to provide enough power for the car. If any one of those hundreds or thousands of individual lithium ion cells is damaged, rapid and uncontrolled heating of the cell can occur, which will rapidly become self-sustaining, involving other cells around it in what's called thermal runaway, until the entire battery is consumed. Not only this, but the volume of gases released during this process, themselves highly toxic, causes pressure to build up within the battery compartment and eventually they will force their way out, escaping at high velocity, causing blowtorch-like jets of gas and flame to be ejected a considerable distance, and which can set fire to anything nearby, including buildings. So while EV fires are less common than regular car fires, their impact can be catastrophic. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer, now Sydney-based YouTuber. Be sure to follow me on the usual socials for more content, links in the description, and please make sure you're subscribed and have enabled all notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos. Let's take a look at this video, and you can see just how quickly this progresses from a bit of smoke to a full-on conflagration. So you can see there's just a bit of smoke coming out the bottom at the moment. It looks pretty, uh, it's rapidly getting worse. This is all highly toxic, of course. You don't want to be breathing any of this. Look at the volume. Look at the amount of smoke that's produced. It's absolutely terrifying. We'll catch fire in a minute. There we go. And listen to that sound. That is the sound of a blowtorch. Quite terrifying. And you can see the pressure of the gas inside the battery compartment is forcing that flame out, basically horizontally. And you can see it's growing in length quite rapidly heading straight into that building. Wow. Oh, that's the front tire bursts. And that building is fully alight as well. That's absolutely terrifying, quite frankly. Would you ever want to park an EV in your garage if this outcome was even remotely possible? That's literally a 2000 degree blowtorch right there, which will destroy pretty much anything in its path. Lithium ion batteries are actually quite fussy and fragile and must be carefully looked after. There are many ways in which this thermal runaway chain reaction can be started. The most obvious is physical damage. If the battery pack is subjected to impact or puncture, this will frequently cause one or more cells to fail and result in a rapid release of heat and eventually fire. But there are plenty of other ways in which it can happen, many of which are simply as a result of what we'd call normal usage. Things such as frequently charging beyond the safe level of 80% or allowing it to fall below the safe level of 20% or even using DC fast charging too much, for example, can eventually degrade the cells to a point where one may fail. Once this process has started, the fire burns at incredibly high temperatures and cannot be extinguished with usual firefighting techniques, since the oxygen which a fire normally obtains from the air is present within the battery cells themselves as the oxidizer, making extinguishing such a fire incredibly difficult. The temperatures are also a factor here, with lithium-ion battery fires capable of melting structural elements of buildings such as steel girders, which regular car fires would have no chance of affecting. In fact, these fires make petrol and diesel fires look pretty tame by comparison. 
Diesel is almost impossible to set fire to in normal conditions. And when regular cars catch fire, it's usually as a result of an electrical fault rather than anything to do with a fuel system. It's little wonder that fire and emergency services are becoming increasingly concerned about the dangers of lithium-ion battery fires and why high-performance sprinkler systems are being mandated where EVs are charged or parked. So when some evangelist tells you how much rarer EV fires are than regular car fires, you'll understand why this statistic that's so frequently banded about by the fanboys is worth precisely nothing.